Hey, it's me, Josh. It's not a, always um easy way to start a video about this. It's a hard knock life, I want to say. It's just not always the right way to introduce a video about borderline personality disorder or depression or whatever you have uh, been struggling with or anxiety. Like the last three weeks, almost a month, I was laying in bed doing absolutely nothing. And I was twisting and turning late at night, almost every night and morning, not even getting out of bed to like get some food or water. My girlfriend, uh, Lena, she had to do almost everything because I didn't have the motivation, the motivation to do absolutely nothing. It was absolutely garbage. Um, and the worst part of it, I had this shame, like this sensation of shame all over me. And... I couldn't shake it. I just couldn't shake it. I felt like something's bad. Something bad's gonna happen. Something unreal was gonna happen. And I'm, I was stuck in a loop of, of blaming myself for everything. All that I've done, all that I've said. All these scenarios playing all over again in my head and replay, just like again and then again. It was excruciating. It was painful. And at the same time, I was always, always just inside my brain thinking that you gotta get out of bed. You know, you know, you can do it. I was sh sh cheering on myself to get out of bed or to even do anything. I literally laid in bed. I, I, or I slept for like five to six hours or 10 hours or 15 hours some days. And the thing that I did was getting out of bed going to my to the sofa laying in bed no laying on the sofa and watching series i was watching so much peaky blinders it's a great show if you haven't seen it go watch it really nice i watched some anime shows as well and these shows and playing video games I played through The Last of Us Part 1. It really helped me exploring something else than just repeating my own fatalities, <laughs> I want to say. It, it's weird. It's weird when... Because I was in a such good place. And... When you get to that point, to that breaking point, and everything just falls apart. Everything you do, everything you work for, everything seems meaningless. Everything is kind of like pushed aside. You can't get up, and at the same time, you're in your, you're in your head talking to yourself and like, um, you can do it. You can get up. You can be better. Because you fell now. And the only way up. The only way now is actually up. So. I decided to take a stand. And actually. Try harder. I bought this workshop book. From Daniel J. Fox, I think his name is. I'll, I'll leave a, a link 
in the doobly doo down below and share with you the process of doing the walk workshop. It's been helpful. It's been hurtful. And this workshop is to figure out how to work through your PVD or to find out what causes your BBD, your symptoms, to put words on what's, what is actually going on in your head and why it happens and why it happens. And uh, for me, that's been extremely helpful, like sitting there, because it's not only a book that you read, it's a book that you actually write down your thoughts in. You have this, like, assignments in some sort of way or in the last uh, pages of the chapters in the book that you need to write down, and it's really good. I, if you're struggling with PBD I, or borderline personality disorder, I really recommend this workshop book. I'm saying it wrong all the time. It's a workbook, but I really recommend this workbook by Daniel J. Fox. Extremely nice, and uh, I ordered it from uh, Amazon, so it's been helping a lot. I feel a lot better now. Not that my feelings aren't valid, but it's just not... It, it doesn't have to be so great of an emotion. It can just be, oh, okay, I feel sad now. It's okay to feel sad. You don't have to feel ashamed about being depressed. So if any of you have anything you want to share, please leave it in the comments down below. If you want to, of course, no pressure. Join our Discord and we talk about mental health and everything. I try to be as open as I can about my process with everything. And uh, fight on, really. It's so good on the other side, I wanted to say. It's really, really amazing when you not only see uh, not only feel better, but also see the progress that you're going through. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.